what age did your mom have you? What was your first impression of Danny? Best mom advice to raise a good little human. How did your mom feel when you moved in with Cash Out? Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I have a really, really exciting video for you guys. I know you guys are gonna love this video. By the title of the video, you guys know that today I'm gonna be hanging out with my mom. So we're gonna go get our toes done, we're gonna go shopping a little, um, we're gonna go bu buy me a new phone, um, we're gonna do a mukbang, and we're also gonna be answering a couple questions that you guys left us. So I asked on my Instagram questions that you guys wanted to know for me and my mom so that we can answer. I'm on my way to go pick up my mom right now. I'm running late, per usual. Will I ever be on time? I doubt it. <laughs> this is the fit that I'm wearing today. I'm wearing some like biker shorts with a Breakout LA hoodie and my orange dunks. And I actually was gonna wash my hair today, which I still am gonna wash my hair today, but not until the nighttime. Um, but I didn't wanna wash my hair because it's so windy over here and I don't want it to get all like dusty and tangled and shit like that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna wear it in a bun. And actually, I really like this outfit. It's got my support water bottle and my keys. Hi, Kiyu, look what the wind brought in. We're finally out of the salon. Show them your nails. My mom got cute little white nails and then I got my cute little pink ones. Now we have a bunch of errands. We're gonna go to Style Vine. Where else? Yeah. We're gonna go to Target. We might go to Bed Bath & Beyond. No, Ross. Bath & Body Works. Bath & Body Works, Ross, Marshalls. We need a bed sheet, Best Buy. Go eat. We might go to our friend's house. Yeah, this is gonna be like an all day. It's gonna be spend the day with us, for sure. First stop is Stylevine. Oh. Okay, so we found some new sheets for us because we needed some new sheets. We're gonna do black this time, which is luck because the dogs always be laying on our bed. Mom's is helping us because, fun fact, my mom always helps me decorate. <laughs> My mom and Ashley. Ashley gave us the inspo, and then me and my mom are making it come to life. But, oh, Target always gets the best of us. I thought you just came in for something. I just came in for a bed sheet, <laughs> and I left with $500 worth of stuff. Okay. Good old Target. Yeah, literally. Okay. Next stop is Best Buy. So we're gonna, I'm gonna get myself a new phone cause if you guys know, I have an old phone. I think I have the iPhone 11. Um, so hopefully they have the color I want. I want the green iPhone. Hi. Hello. Bad news. They don't just sell like the straight phone. You have to like trade in your phone. <sighs> so I guess we're gonna have to buy it through Apple, order it, whatever, so they can be like a straight up unlocked phone. Cause they don't do that. I thought they did that. Weird. We just got to our friend's our friend Gabby's house. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna go pick up food because we're gonna eat here. And I figured, like, on our way, um, on our way, and while we're waiting for the food, we can answer a couple of questions. We have a lot of questions. A lot, a lot of questions. I feel like the most asked question that I got that people want to know is like. What was your first impression of Danny? Do you like Danny for me? Uh, of course I like Danny. It's not to like. He's a really nice guy. When I first met him, he was super funny. I thought they were really funny. He I, was kind of shy. He at was, he's very shy. That's what a lot of people don't know about him. I feel like he seems really outgoing, but when he's just around people that he doesn't really know, I feel like he's a little bit shy. Yeah, for sure. He's very open with his own crew and his own people, but um, he's a little shy, but I feel like our personalities get along. He gets along really good with all of us and our vibes just like mesh really well. An another popular question, what age did your mom have you? You guys look like sisters. Fillers and filters, but uh, I was 20 when I got pregnant with Lexi, so I was a little bit of a young mom, but I'm kind of glad because we kind of grew up together and I'm so young enough to enjoy her and hang out with her and be able to do a lot of things with her, whereas if I was an older mom, 
probably wouldn't have energy to do some of the things that we do and be able to hang out as much as we do, so I love it. Why did you only have one baby? Sure. And by the way, guys, sorry I keep moving the cameras because I'm holding the tripod up and like this shit heavy. And I'm like looking at the navigation trying to make sure we yeah don't miss our food. Um, when I was younger, I never was the type of person that really wanted a lot of kids. I don't know why. I just didn't like it wasn't something that I was like oh my gosh I want to have a big family I was kind of scared to have kids in the first place but I was really happy with Lexi and then I started working on focusing our on our businesses and building up our businesses so we kind of just got sidetracked and yeah and now we're just too old let's <laughs> wait for the grandkids <laughs> so speaking of grandkids another question is do you want to be a grandma yes if so do you want to be a grandma soon <laughs> you guys want. I don't want to tell you what to do. Like, Lexi's baby's gonna be like my baby. Yeah, for sure. So whenever that time will be, that's that's her decision. How did your mom feel when you moved in with Cash Out? I didn't care. I mean, she had already been living on her own for like two years. Yeah, like two, like two and, two and a half years. So it didn't bother me. Uh, but I was actually happy because she is like five minutes away from me. Yeah. I get to see her a lot. I moved out of my parents' house when I was 21. So I had already been living by myself um, before I moved in with Danny. And fun fact, both of the places that I lived at, I lived in an apartment and a house. And both of them were under seven minutes away from my mom. So I really wanted to like stay close to my mom when I moved out. How'd your mom feel when you moved out? I was so sad. My mom and me both cried when I moved out. I was out. crying hysterically, <laughs> and I felt like it was the end of the world. I lost like 13 pounds in like a week. I was so depressed. That's when I was really seriously debating on having another baby because I didn't want to be by myself, and I didn't know if Lexi was going to be as close to me as like she always was. But on the bright side, my husband brought me my little puppies so that I wouldn't be lonely. And those are like her little BFFs. They, they kind of took over Lexi's spot. So. Yeah, they even like have their own room. It's funny. <laughs> right now, my mom will look through the questions herself and like answer questions like she wants to answer. Wait, are they all for me or they're for some of them for you? I feel like a lot of them are directed towards you because they're like, how did your mom feel? Oh, like, okay. you know, like BRB, we're going to order our food. Number three? Uh huh. Okay, what's gonna be the dessert? Uh, the side's gonna be the arroz and then the macaroni salad. How does it feel to have a mom that's super young? Um, so for me, because I'm an only child, I love it. I have like a three-in-one combo with my mom. I have like my best friend, I have my mom, and she's like my sister. So Aww. personally, I love it. Like we literally do a lot together. We do the questions and what other names would you have named Lexi? I wanted it to be Lexi, but I also wanted it to be something else. Like, it wasn't Alexa in my mind, it was Lexi. And so I was like, what goes with Lexi? And I was like, Alejandra, Alexis. Like, I was kind of thinking of names, and then I just picked Alexa because it was a little, at that time, it was a little, not super unique, but it wasn't very common, and I didn't want you to have a super common name. So, I always wanted Lexi. Lex. What would they say about Lexi in high school? <laughs> that she was evil. <laughs> she's like a sour patch kid. First she's sour and then she's really, really sweet. She <laughs> has a very tough exterior and she's a little rough around the edges, but she's really sweet. What age do I want Lexi to have kids? Like I said, that's completely up to her. Um, I don't recommend, but I kind of like being a young mom so much that I really like that experience for a lot of people and I know a lot of my friends or family have had kids older and they say it's super different like you don't have as much energy and like you're just more tired when you're young it doesn't phase you like you just get up and go and you're just on the go and you have energy That's and true. you're moving around and we would we would be on the streets literally like 12 hours 13 hours and nothing would phase me and if i had a baby when i was older i think i'd just be like I'm tired, I don't want to play with my baby, or you know, just a little bit more lazy, so. But it's up to her, she can have kids whenever she wants. Um, I'm already like, also like at the age where it's like, whatever, like I graduated high school, I graduated college. I'm not planning to have kids anytime soon, but I feel like if it happens, it's just like whatever, because the only thing was I didn't want to be like 
too, too, too young of a mom where like I haven't like experienced like life on my own yet. One of them says only child. Is that for me? I am a middle child. I have two other sisters. There's three of us and I'm the one in the middle. So I'm always keeping the peace. Yeah. Um, I'm always like the neutral one. Speaking of the middle child and her two older, other sisters, my aunt, which is her older sister, is actually Ashley's mom. I know that's like not really part of the Q&A, but I always see questions asking how I'm related to Ashley. And mine and Ashley's mom are sisters, so. This question is for you. It says, has your relationship with your mom always been positive? Um, I feel like yes and no. I feel like yes when I was younger and then I got to like a teenager stage where I wanted to be like rebellious and I didn't want to like hang out with my parents or my family and I thought I was like so cool too cool to like go to the movies with my parents anymore and now I'm like do you guys want to go to the movies? <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny like when she was in that teenager stage I remember she would want to go out and me and my husband and all our family would always, always, always have a Friday night family dinner. And we would literally force Lexi. We'd be like, if you want to go out, you have to come eat dinner with us and then you can go out. Or you have to go to the movies with us first and then you can out. She'd be so mad, but that was our way of like forcing her to hang out with us. And now she likes it. Thank you. How many meals is it supposed to be? Is it only? Is that Lexi? Yes. Is the girl here that knows her? She's filming something. Come say hi. 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 Filming with my oh, mom today. Because she's filming it right now. Okay, one horizon right here. Bye. Bye. That was cute. So, what is your favorite quality about each other? Uh, I'll go first. My favorite quality about my mom is that she lights up every room that she like walks into. My mom, like I said, like she's oh. so friendly. <laughs> my mom is so friendly she always makes everybody feel welcomed and loved and yeah that's my favorite quality about her okay my favorite quality about Lexi I really love her strength I really admire her strength and she, since she's been a baby and a little girl I always felt like she was kind of like a little old soul like she would if I would cry like she would literally come up to me and be like don't cry, it's okay, mom. <laughs> like, and I'm talking a little kid, like a five-year-old. Like, you would be shook. I feel like me and Lexi have a lot of um, similar qualities, but we're also very different. And I like that she has all those qualities that I've never had, and I feel like it, it's a really good balance. Her strength and determination has always been that way, and I love that about her. And even though she has a really strong exterior, she's very, very loving. She's very sweet, <laughs> even though she doesn't like to show it. She'll do anything for you. She's the sweetest. She's so loyal. And like I said, she's really, really, her strength. That's what I love about her. Though. What is the one struggle raising Lexi? Um, I don't really think I had a struggle. I think when she was going through her teenage years, it would really hurt me that she wouldn't want to hang out as much or she would try to like talk back to me. But that was only in the beginning. I think when she started high school, um, maybe the main thing is like I didn't like some of her friends when she was growing up and I just knew they were not that great and I would kind of tell her like you know just be careful with this one or whatever and she wouldn't listen to me obviously <laughs> other than that I don't think I've had a lot of struggles she's been a really good so good that we would even feel like we never even raised a kid sometimes because she would do everything on her own she's always been super independent and it's crazy, but she's like a, she was like a baby genius when she was little. <laughs> Did but there's a movie, a uh, baby boss, like where yeah. he like comes out and he's like <laughs> like a little boss. That's her. Like she would literally start walking quick, start talking quick, start counting, start reading, have grown up conversations. I think it's because also she was always with me when she was little. Like I would just bring her everywhere, so. She was around a lot of adults, so she was very grown up and um, just super, super independent. I haven't eaten all day and it's five o'clock. <sighs> oh my God, I'm, I'm here for it. Miami diet. Skinny, <laughs> skinny <laughs> bean. <laughs> Were you like Lexi at her age now? Uh, no, she was a mom. <laughs> yeah. She was a mom to a major, major a thing three year old. I already had like a, almost four year old and uh, when I was her age, I was still going to college but I had a full-time job and I worked 
during the day because I had to support myself and Lexi. So I worked full time and I went to night school and I was a single mom. So my life was very, very, very different. So no, I would <laughs> say. How do you see Lexi acting as a parent? She's amazing with kids. She loves kids. Whenever we go to a family party, she's always picking up the kids. She wants to be with the babies. She babysits. Call her. She's babysits. <laughs> Just kidding. She's really good with kids. And I know, of course, once it's your own baby, you're only going to be a million times better. Never have a doubt that she'll be an amazing, amazing mom when her time comes. What ethnicity are you guys? Latina, baby. Latina mommy. Isn't it obvious? That TikTok sound. I know. Ooh, this is a really good question for you. What's your secret to looking so good and so young? Lots of sex. Oh my god. Lots of water. Exercise. Exercise. Eat healthy. Eat healthy. Because whatever you put inside your body, it's gonna come right out. So I really try not to eat junk food. I do like potato chips, but I don't eat um I don't eat fast food. I don't Really, I don't like My mom eats really clean, and honestly. I don't really like desserts, but I do like tequila. <laughs> What's your favorite dish your mom makes? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, honestly, I love all of my mom's cooking. Uh, oh my god, my mom, my mom's vegan lasagna. No, not vegan. Vegetarian. Vegetarian lasagna. Oh my god, ten ten so good. But honestly, like. It sounds cliche, but I love all of my mom's cooking. Like, my mom throws down. Best mom advice to raise a good little human. Ooh, that's hard. I mean, first of all, you just got to let your kids kind of, like, be themselves. And they'll kind of, like, they need your direction here and there. But just kind of nurture the person that they are and try to bring out the qualities that they have and try to push them in, in that direction. But... One of my biggest things as far as in life is always like try to be the better person yeah. in any situation. Like if people are talking bad about you or between arguments with friends or family or spouses, I'm always like just try to be the, the better person and it's never going to hurt you. Like it, it's always going to be to your benefit. You know, you have a clear conscience and a clear heart and I think that's good will follow yeah like it's karma i remember growing up my mom would let me dress myself and do my hair and sometimes my hair would be crazy because obviously i was like seven years old I she looked like punky brewster yeah and like i would just wear like crazy stuff but my mom would let me like express myself and then like here and there she'd be like oh well you know like this outfit's cute but you should do it with this or this you know but she would most definitely like let me express myself okay guys we just got to my friend gabby's house so now we're change gonna... of scenery yeah change we'll be right back please stand by <laughs> oh. oh okay guys we got that in carbon that's gabby hi <laughs> okay we're gonna answer a couple more questions. Let me see, let me look through. I was gonna say, you want breakfast, so we are starving. It is currently 5.15. 5.15. Um, and this is supposed to be meant for both of them, right? Yeah. Some of them aren't, but you can tell when some of them are directed to me or to my mom. Oh. <laughs> Literally just. Do you think Lexi is more like your sister than your daughter? No. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. Yeah. It's more like a bestie. Yeah. Slash mom. Where did your mom and biological father meet and how old was she when she had, I guess, you? I was in high school. They met Don't in recommend. <laughs> <laughs> what does your mom do for a living? Well, that was a good one, mom. <laughs> I own a chocolate store and an ice cream shop. Nice. And I used to be in property management for 20 years before that. Like it might pull off her makeup. <laughs> I don't know who this is directed to, but what's the biggest purchase you've made after drinking? Who's funnier when they're drunk? What's the biggest purchase after drinking? Whataburger? Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm an avid online shopper, but I don't have to be drunk to be doing that. <laughs> it happens all the time. Hell. Day and, night. <laughs> and then what was the second part of the question? Um, who's funnier when they're drunk? Um, I say my mom is pretty funny when she's drunk. My mom's funny all the time, but my mom is pretty funny when she's drunk. I'm more get drunk and... Was it worth the wait? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, God. Yeah? What's your favorite thing to do together? 
Um, spend my dad's money. Spend money. <laughs> Love that. Yes. Was Lexi an unexpected pregnancy? Absolutely. How do you guys keep a close relationship? We keep in constant contact with each other. We hang out a lot. We send each other memes. We send each other TikToks. We definitely talk every day. Send each other memes, TikToks for talk sure. Talk and text every single day, no matter what. Even Face if it's time. just like we're like, <laughs> and we <laughs> always hang out like at least once a week. And do you guys ever argue? Get into like little bickering fights? Uh. No, I don't think anymore. I ignore her when she acts like that. <laughs> Bye. But I feel like now that I'm older, we don't really fight. For sure, when I was younger, when I lived at their house, for sure we would fight and argue. But I feel like now, like I can't even think of like the last time we like fought. Can you? It's not like a fight. It's more like she's in a bad mood, she's angry, <laughs> or she's irritated. She gets frustrated quick, and then I just leave her alone. And then like 20 minutes later, she'll be like, mom. Like, <laughs> Do you like all of Lexi's friends? Now? Yes. Back then, no. Oh my God, I would love that. So happy with that. And I feel like it was a healthy option. Life lesson for a person in their 20s? Have fun. Don't say no to opportunities. Go on as many adventures as you can. Make a lot of mistakes. Take them as a learning lesson though. And just enjoy your life. Be happy. You're never gonna be as young as you are today. How would you feel if Lexi got pregnant before getting married? I don't think it's a taboo nowadays. I think back in my days, it was very like frowned upon and people weren't really happy with that at all. Yeah, for but sure. now I don't think, and as a matter of fact, sometimes I think it's the wrong thing to do, like just because you have a baby to get married. Yeah, and I think it depends on everybody's individual situation, but it wouldn't bother me. Like she's already gonna be 25 and I feel like as long as she can provide for the baby, then that's pretty much all that would. Times have changed. For time. sure. Eventually. Hi besties. So when I was recording with my mom, my camera died. So I totally forgot to close out the video once I got back home. But I hope you guys liked today's video. And as always, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button and the little bell button next to the subscribe button. That way you guys get notified every single time I post a new video. I will see you guys on next week's video. Bye guys.